Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age, while we wait for the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Amen. This passage sees the two appearances of Jesus Christ. In verse 11, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all people. You see, Jesus came he became like one of us he was born he lived he died he rose again so that all people everyone can have salvation can be saved can be forgiven can be reconciled to the father this was his first appearing secondly we see in verse 13 while we wait for the blessed hope the glorious appearing of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ. There is a second appearing. Jesus is coming again. He will come to establish his kingdom here on earth, to claim for himself a holy, pure bride, the church. And we wait in eager anticipation of this blessed hope, the second appearing of Jesus Christ. And in between the first appearing and the second appearing, we live in this present age. In in verse 12, it talks about this present age. And it is the grace of God that helps us to live in this age. For the grace of God helps us to say no and helps us to say yes. We are to say no to ungodliness and worldly passion. We're not going to live as the world lives. We don't prioritise the things as the world prioritizes. We don't give value to the things that the world gives value to. We live a different way. And we are say to, to say yes to self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age. So while we're waiting, we are to live lives that are different to the world around us. We are to be noted because we live differently. And Jesus helps us to do this. In fact, he gave himself for this purpose. In verse 14, he gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people who are his very own, eager to do what is good. You see, Jesus died to set us apart, to purify us, to redeem us, so that we may be different to the rest of the world. So while we're waiting for the second coming of Jesus, while we're living in this present age, let's allow the grace of God, the Holy Spirit, to help us to live for Jesus, to live holy lives, different lives, because Jesus died to set us apart, to purify us, to make us his very own. Let us live lives that glorify him as we go out into the world today. May God bless you.